going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gianluca and I am a final year medical student studying in Canada. Now, before we get into the topic of today's video, I just wanted to take a second and sponsor my own video by saying that in two weeks from now, starting on November 1st, I will officially be taking part in my 10th consecutive Movember campaign where I will be growing a mustache and all of the ad revenue generated by my social media will be donated directly to the Movember Foundation in support of men's health. If you guys do want to go ahead and help me do that, you could always go ahead, smash the like button on this video, subscribe to the channel. And if you do want to join the Next Gen MD Movember team for 2021, you could always reach out on my Discord. I'm going to link that in the description below. Now, being in your final year of medical school, you're in a really weird spot where you have one foot basically still in medical school and one foot, which is now leaning into the world of residency. The CARMS application, our residency application program just opened up. So all the medical students now in my year are getting ready with their CVs. We're looking into the different programs and we're also trying to figure out what we could expect for what our life is going to be like when we start residency. Now, I've heard all kinds of horror stories from fellow students that are now first year residents and all the doctors on YouTube that talk about their experience in residency but it was about a week ago now where I stumbled across a Harvard article that asked whether or not an 80 hour work week was enough to train a doctor. Now, for those of you that don't know, this is actually a very hotly debated topic because up until 2003, it was not uncommon for medical residents as an average to work between 100 and 120 hours per week. And just as an aside, there are only 168 hours in a week. But as of 2003, there were some major reforms that were put in place so that supposedly on average, medical residents should only be working about 80 hours per week. And there's some nuance as to how you get those 80 hours, but that was supposed to be the limit. Now, what the article goes on to explain is that as a result of the changes, some previously trained doctors spoke up and said that there were concerns about reducing the residents' hours of training down to only 80 hours per week. And there's actually a surgeon that they quoted in the article that said that when I trained, good or bad, I worked 120 hours per week. That was just expected. Today, the average resident finishes with around 900 operative cases, and this is in surgery, and I finished with twice as many. So those are some of the concerns that were raised by other doctors. Now, on the other hand though, the changes only came about in the first place because of concerns of physician burnout and being awake for long periods of time and how that affects your ability to treat and manage certain patient cases. And they also talk about how the reforms reduced the amount of time that someone could work consecutively to a maximum of a 24 hour shift, which was reduction supposedly just for your own information though pilots for example other uh, professions that work for long periods of time there are none that I could find that will allow individuals to work for a 24-hour shift without stopping that are in charge of the safety of other people now I think that it's very important that I do present both sides of this argument the pros of having these changes and the cons of having these changes and just because I am curious I'd love to hear from you guys as to what you think about how long residents should be working in hospital Hospitals. What is the ideal amount of hours spent training for residents? One thing though that I really did like about this article is that they looked at some studies examining patient outcomes for doctors that had trained before with the 100 to 120 hours per week on average versus the newly trained doctors, the 80 hours per week. And if there were any changes in patient outcome for the better or for the worse, because in my opinion, that is one of the single most important metrics when it comes to looking at resident physician training. Now the Harvard article goes goes and cites a BMJ published article that says, then to quote, my colleagues and I analyzed the outcomes of nearly 500,000 hospitalized patients in the US who were treated by newly independent doctors with varying exposure to work hour restrictions during their residency training. We found that newly independent doctors who trained in a period where their residency work hours routinely reached 90 to 100 hours per week had no better patient outcomes despite the additional hours spent in training than doctors whose residency training involves substantially less time in the hospital. In conclusion, an 80 hour work week seems sufficient for training a doctor. That was their conclusion by looking at this one study. Now, when I used to hear something like that, you know, 80 hours per week spent working, I used to hear it, but it never really used to hit me as to what that meant. And as someone now that is towards the end of my medical training in medical school anyways, and coming just off of my pediatrics rotation where for the last two weeks we were on CTU and averaging about 73 or 74 hours per week in hospital after the in-hospital call shift. That's not where it ends though. And if there is one more thing that I want to tack on, 
it's not just the 80 hours that you spend per week in hospital, but if you're studying additionally between two and three hours per night, which was the bare minimum for me in pediatrics, just for myself, you were probably looking at about 85 to 89, closer to 90 hours per week once you factor everything in. It's not one of those things where you could just go to work and come home and go to sleep and live your life. Medicine is one of those things where there is work outside of work, at least when you're still in your training. Now, all of this is to say that personally, I learned better, had better interactions with patients, and made better decisions when I was able to get a decent night's sleep before coming into work. And if I was going to do a 90 hour week with studying and hospital shifts, that wouldn't leave me any time to hang out with my friends, to even go to the gym some days, or have any real time for myself. So if, in my opinion, we are going to have two separate groups of people, those that work 80 hours, and those that work more than 80 hours, and patient outcomes are the same, I can't help but lean more in the side of trying to give people somewhat more of a better work-life balance and hopefully help to decrease physician burnout because as the article also says all of this information is coming out in a point of time where physician burnout is approaching 40 percent and that is a process that begins in residency and some people once they become so burned out in residency never have the chance to actually get out of that at the same time though i'm not going to be naive and even though 80 hours a week sounds Sounds like a lot of hours still, I do personally still know of residents that are doing consistently more than 80 hours per week and not all residency programs are created equally in that regard. But especially some of my friends that I have in general surgery residencies tend to spend a lot of time and sometimes go more than 24 hours in a single shift. Seeing people there at 28 hours, 30 hours in some cases is still not uncommon. One final piece of information that I do want to give you guys though is that I know for certain that not everyone thinks like me even in this new generation of doctors and there are going to be differences in personalities of medical students and residents and some people will thrive working these crazy hundred hours or even more than that hours per week there's actually another article that was put out by a canadian journal that says that in surgical specialties specifically reducing hours may not actually improve wellness a systematic review led by a vice chair of education of the university of toronto's department of surgery showed that although wellness among surgical residents residents did improve after the 80 hour work week was implemented, a 16 hour duty maximum had little or actually negative effects on their wellness. Further erosion of training time should be considered with great caution, the authors noted, and that is to say that some people were doing better with the 20 hours per day or 24 hours per day. So in summary now, where do we stand? I think that as someone that is going to be starting my residency journey very shortly, the first thing that I want to say is that residency is difficult and I don't think that has changed and the fact that that we are still debating whether or not an 80 hour work week is sufficient to train a doctor or as the majority of the population will abide by a 40 hour work week really demonstrates that jump from being a medical student to being a resident and it's going to be something that is going to take a little bit of time to get used to i have no doubt about that on the other hand though i'd be lying if i said that i wasn't excited for residency it is this great next step forward in my training that i think that i am ready for and it is nice i will concede that after putting in these crazy hours in the hospital there is a little bit of confidence that comes with it because you've seen it you've been exposed to it and when you're going through it it's rough but when you get to the other side that is the payoff for the time that you put in and at some point you're just gonna have to go ahead and do it it's not lost on me just uh, the learning process and what that means to actually taking care of people but I thought that it'd be worthwhile to explore this article and some trends in the optimal amount of time I'd love to hear from people regarding what you think about residency training and whether or not we're heading in the right direction should we decrease more hours is 80 hours a week still too much um or are we perfect the way we are right now but we will see you all in the next one um, more residency stuff coming in the future and rotations and whatever but uh, everyone have a great day and uh, see you later